These Game Front Easter eggs are brought to you by Best Buy. Hey, this is Zach with Game Front, here with the Easter eggs of Rage. This will cover the four secret rooms, Wolfenstein 3D, Quake, Doom, and the Rage Developers Room. So the first Easter egg we're going to cover is the Wolfenstein 3D Easter egg, and that'll be in the Ghost Clan's hideout. In this room, once you clear it out of all the enemies, head over to this corner, to the right of the flat screen TV, hit the action button on the wall, and a door will be revealed that looks familiar, looks a little bit familiar to me. We'll also get a little prize, the Wolf Goblet. That's worth 150 smackers. Alright, the next easter egg is in the Wasted Garage, and you'll have to do this after the quest of collecting the buggy parts. After done with that quest, you just head back here, enter in the way you exit at the end of that quest, and we are going to go from bottom to top of, the th uh, of activating the three different buttons. So here's the first one. And now we're going to head for the second one. This one is a little tough to find. It's a little trickier. It's in this co little corner cabinet, and it's on its side. So that's the second button. Now we're going for the third and the, f the final button. All right, the third final button is behind a red workbench. There it is. Crouch down. Tap this last button. Activate it by pressing the action button, A on Xbox, X on PS3, and I believe E on the PC. And so now we're going to head back down to a little side staircase close to the uh, beginning, or the exit, I guess, the beginning of the map where we entered. And it'll now be accessible to us. You'll be able to recognize that it's the correct stairway with, uh, there'll be a Quake logo on the wall. You'll see it in a second. It's right here. There it is, and we head up that way, and we walk through the portal to reveal a little Quake plush doll. So we'll walk over to it and grab it, and the Shambler plush. And that covers this Easter egg. All right, our next Easter egg is the Doom Easter egg, which takes place in the Gearhead Vault. Once we enter the offices, we're going to go into this little back room area. And you'll see there are quite a few computers, and they a few of them have keyboards. And we have to activate seven keyboards. There was the first one. Here's the second one. The third one. Keeping count for you. And here's number four. Number five. Number six. And here's the final keyboard. Number seven. We get a nice little growl afterwards. I remember that noise. I believe it's the one whenever a door would open. So now we're going to head to the beginning of this map. And there will now be a new area for us to access. There will be a door we can open. And we'll have to hop onto a flaming red barrel and then onto some boxes and crouch down to fit into the door. That gas uh, leader is not important, but here we are. Back at the beginning. You can see here's the room. Now we just got to get in there. Hop on the red barrel like I was saying earlier, which I'm clearly having some trouble doing. And then we're going to hop over to the boxes, crouch down, and we have the doom room. Accompanied by some awesome music. We can now get our little trophy, the Doom Marine Bobblehead. It's a sweet little bobblehead. $150. Not too shabby. And now for the final Easter egg. This is the Rage Developer's Room, or the Secret Developer Room. 
And this takes place in the abandoned distillery. As you can see in this large room with the stills, we're going to hop off the e uh, edge there and walk around to the back to find a valve which we can interact with. Once that's done, we're going to head back the way we came, back up the ladder. And to our right, there will be a little passageway that is now open. We'll have to crouch and we can crawl right on inside to reveal the developer's room. The secret developer graffiti room. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Everybody's got their signature up on the wall or a little doodle. And it earns you a trophy or an achievement, depending on what, you know, which fanboy you are of which console. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.